so question one Jamie needs to be ready for because uh, it is a clip it's an audio clip so name this cartoon from 1989 hit it down at the bottom of the garden among the birds and the bees a little lot of little people okay this is one of Jamie's favourites he was doing a proper little bop over there to that so question Oh, and knocking the place over. Question one, name that cartoon from 1989. Down at the bottom of the garden, amongst the birds and the bees, there lives a lot of little people. They call what? Where will you find the characters PJ and Duncan? So question two, where will you find the characters PJ and Duncan? Right, question three is another clip, but you actually get to see this. So name this animation. Somewhere in the dark and nasty regions where nobody goes, stands an ancient castle. Deep within this dank and uninviting place. Okay, so question three, name that animation. What was that? I used to have that on a um, uh, ringtone, you know, back where you could sort of record things and um, on a Nokia, you know, you know the phones. Mm -hmm. I, think my, I think it was a Nokia. It was a brick phone, but I I say it so that I had a different ringtone for um, everybody that phoned me. When it was my mum, I had Black Sabbath, and it literally was Ozzy going, "No, no, please go no." So that was my reaction when my mum found me, what now? So that was quite good. Okay. Question four. Which kids nature show featured Chris Packham, Terry Nutkins and his marvellous hairdo, not, and Michaela Stratton? Stratton. So Question four, which kids nature show featured Chris Packham, Terry Nutkins, Nutkins, and Michaela Strachan? What was it called? James like, oh, I remember this. I used to watch it all the time, but I can't remember what it's called. Yeah. Yeah, that one. I've just got the theme tune to um, question one in my head constantly. I've managed to find you a go Oh yeah, that one doesn't look special at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently Kaz was on that show. Yeah? Yeah. That is very cool. Right, question five. Which food did Badger love in Bodger and Badger? So, question five. Which food did Badger love in Bodger and Badger? Caviar. Caviar? Yeah. That's what you think, yeah? yeah. It was jelly deals. Jelly deals. Yeah. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. knows. Jelly deals. <laughs> Gross. Okay, question six is another clips um, question. So, name this cartoon.
Okay, so uh, question six was name that uh, cartoon. Question seven. Will you all remember Rainbow, but can you remember the name of the trio who used to perform the songs? So, question seven. Will you all remember Rainbow, but can you remember the name of the trio who used to perform the songs in it? You get three points because it's three people with three different names. So possibility of three points here. Question eight. Which CITV show featured an American boy living in London whose wardrobe was really a portal? and out popped a very friendly alien who could juggle amongst his other talents. This is one of my favourites and the uh, bloke who played um, part of the title of this, I can't tell you, um, he changed halfway through the show and it's like I understand changing actors um, for various reasons with an adult show because you know that we can we can take and so Oh, they've changed Pippa, have they, in Home and Away. But when you're a kid, it's like, that's not him. He doesn't look nothing like that. I'm sure they gave a good reason why he looked different. Okay. So question eight. Which CITV show featured an American boy living in London whose wardrobe was really a portal and outburst a very friendly alien um, who could juggle amongst his other talents. He used to, sit, used to sit on the ceiling, the thing upside down. Well, how else would you sit on a ceiling apart from upside down? You wouldn't sit on your head, would you? I don't know. He's an alien. Mm, maybe. Whoever said he's got a bum to sit on? Well, he, he's, he's presented as a man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a man's name. I don't know. It might be, might be some sort of six bum daddy. <laughs> yeah, since you haven't seen it. No, he's not. <laughs> Question nine. Uh, what show had the theme, theme tune? It's a whole lot of fun. Prizes to be won. I'll let you sing the rest of that so you know the answer. So question nine, which show has this in its theme tune? It's a whole lot of fun. Prizes to be won. See, now I realise what the real attraction was with the twins. Yeah. <laughs> Amy, Amy reckons it. he might have liked yoga. He might like to yeah, sit no, on his head. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Question 10. Uh, name this animation from the, the little bit at the start. You ready? This is 29 Acacia Road. And this is Eric, a schoolboy who leads an amazing double life. You don't have to finish it off for me, what they say, but just tell me who Eric was. So question 10. This is 29 Acacia Road, and this is Eric, a schoolboy who leads an amazing double life. What does Eric like to do at the weekends? <laughs> <laughs> right, question 11. Who presented Art Attack on CITV in the 90s. I had to be specific because apparently Art Attack is still going on something like Disney Junior. Um, run by a slip of a lad, probably. So question 11, who presented Art Attack in on CITV in the 90s? I used to love it when he used to um, make those great big um, bits of art and I'm like, what on earth is he doing with all those stamps? Or uh -huh. like sheets, you know, you'd go to like a school playground and it would be like, oh, I'm not getting it. I'm not. And then they'd zoom out and be like, oh, now I can see where it is. It's the Queen's face. It's the Queen's face, yeah. And they get a tiny Queen's faces. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, question 12. Which show did the main characters often say to me, to you, to me, to you? So you've got a potential of three points here. You can tell me what the show was called and also um, the names of the two characters that used to say to me, to you.
Can you get rid of that gimp looking beaver? He's not a beaver. He's now looking at me strangely. <laughs> you turned him around. We want me to get the turn the other way now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, this. Put him on his head. Put him on his head. Yeah, he likes, he likes yoga too. Oh, oh now he just looks dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He even makes noises over there. Now he does like some weird potato mm. with eyes and literally eyes. Potato eyes and real eyes. Mm. Okay, question 13. Um, what 90s show would teen teens be given a clue in different rooms of a house and have to retrieve the item while normally making a hell of a mess? Another one that I used to really enjoy. They'd be given their hard hats with their little cameras on the front so you could see them making a mess as they're looking for stuff. So what was the name of the show? So question 13, what 90s show would teams be given a clue in a different room of a house and they'd have to retrieve an item which normally ended up making a hell of a mess? Poor lady afterwards was like, what have they done to this room? It's like me with the customers at, uh, at Matalan. <laughs> It's like, I've just tidied that! <sighs> okay. Question 14. Uh, name the show featuring a boy who could shapeshift into a dog. Again, another one of my CIT fa CITV favourites in the 90s. Uh, so question 14. Name the show featuring a boy who could shapeshift into a dog. He used to like itch his nose. Like, oh no, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna turn into a dog. Didn't say that like that because he wasn't American, but yeah. Okay. Question 15. Name the tops of Tots TV. Name the tops of Tots TV. <laughs> Pretty sure it didn't sound like that. No, it did sound like that, so it said the names instead. So again, a potential of three points there, can you remember? Question 16, which CITV show would you find characters like Tatty Boggle, Phoebe the Talking Telephone, Hangle the Purple Coat Hanger, and my favourite, Top, Sticky and Bottom, which was uh, three talking draw people who resembled socks. They used to come out and they talk. I think that's quite a hard one, so I've given you lots of characters there. Again, it had a great theme tune, which I shall sing to you later. Okay. Question 17. Again, this is an audio clip, please, Jamie. So what was that the theme tune for? Another one of my favourite things on CITV in the nineties. Also, one of my one of my first teen crushes. Setting a precedent in life, there yeah. I was. A type of type of man. <laughs> um, okay, uh, question eighteen. Which show will you find the characters Brian and Sophie Johnson and their three foster children, Josh, Mel and Lucy Barker? This is another one where they changed the actress of Sophie and they had a very good excuse um, when they um, changed her based on what 
they actually were. We should go into that later. So what show you find the characters Brian and Sophie Johnson and the three foster children Josh, Mel and Lucy Barker. I always thought Brian was a bit like Phil Dunphy. Not, oh yeah, sort of to look at, but the way he was. An innocent. <laughs> Phil is an innocent. Okay, question 19. Um, is whose theme tune is this you're going to listen to a tune and also which part did Tony Robinson play so hit it Jamie Don't you carry on with what you're doing. having a nice time miming it over there so i repeat question 19 uh which theme tune is this from and full title please to get the point and which part did tony robinson play he was the man behind the whole thing he wrote it it was his idea he also had a part in it we all know who tony robinson is don't we Don't we? Uh, isn't he the ground force guy? He's not ground force. He's not gardening. No, <laughs> it's kind of gardening, but well, ar ar archaeological <laughs> gardening. Yeah. He likes to go to digs. Yeah. <laughs> Did we get extra points from knowing that Cat from Red Dwarf was in it as well? Uh, no, because that's not the question that I went with. I was going to go with that one, but I chose to go with Tony Robinson instead. So no. Um, and question 20 whose best friend was spotty that was his name not that his complexion um, and nemesis was texas p I remember texas p so question 20 whose best friend was spotty and nemesis was texas pete so that's out of 27 okay so answers oh yeah because we are already at nine o'clock Question one, which we've just heard again. Uh, name this cartoon from 1989. Let's do it. Down at the bottom of the garden, amongst the birds and the bees, there lives a lot of little people. They call the Poddington Peas. So Poddington Peas. Question two, where will you find the characters PJ and Duncan? Let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. Get ready get steady and rumble that was a biker grove question three uh, name the animation and that what what you saw was trapdoor don't you open that trapdoor you're a fool if you dare don't you open that trapdoor cuz there's something down there Okay. Question four. Which kids nature show featured Chris Packham, Terry Nutkins and Michaela Strachan? And that was the really wild show. Um, question five. Which food did Badger love in Bodger and Badger? And as everybody knows, Badger loves mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Question six was name this cartoon and it was the family nest that we, um, I don't actually know the words to that so you just get in the family nest as an answer. It's just bagpipes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can't do a bagpipe mm. impression. Ah, that's a start one. impression quite a bit. Shut up Jerry. Uh, question seven, uh, we all remember Rainbow but can you remember the names of the trio who used to perform the songs and that was Rod, Jane and Freddie. So three points if you got all of those. Question eight. Which CITV show featured an American boy living in London whose wardrobe was really a portal and outburst a very friendly alien 
who could juggle amongst his other talents. And that was Mike and Angelo, one of my favourites. And they changed the bloke who played Angelo and I'm like, what? Question nine. Uh, what show has this in its theme tune? It's a whole lot of fun. Prizes to be won. It's a real crazy show where anything will go. Fun house. Use your body and your brain if you want to play the game. Fun house. Question 10. Uh, name the animation that starts This is 29 Acacia Road and this is Eric a schoolboy who leads an amazing double life for when Eric eats a banana an amazing transformation occurs Eric is Banana Man ever alert for the call to action so the answer was Banana Man That's Banana Man Banana Woman Banana Woman <laughs> Yeah. Question 11. Who presented Art Attack on CITV in the 90s? And that was Neil Buchanan. Uh, which show did the main character... Question 12. Which show did the main characters often say to me, to you? And that was Chuckle Vision for a point. And you could also have a point for Barry Chuckle. And you could have a point for Paul Chuckle. Question 13. What what 90s show would teens be given a clue in a different room of a house and have to retrieve an item whilst normally making a hell of a mess? And that was Finders Keepers. Oh, I've got that, that was, Ghost Hunters. That was, another, <laughs> that was another Neil Buchanan one. So they'd be given a clue, a bit like you would in like Supermarket Sweep or something, and you'd have to go and find what they were describing. Question 14. Name the show that features a boy who could shapeshift into a very cute little dog. I used to get an itchy nose and have to go and hide behind a bush. Yeah. And that was Woof. Woof. Question 15. Name the Tots of Tots TV. Tilly, Tom and Tiny. So they're the three points there. Tilly, Tom and Tiny. It's thanks to Tilly that I sometimes go around going sac magique, sac magique, which I think just means like magic bag or something. I just like the sound of it. Sac magique. We're the Tots of Tots TV. One, two, three. Um, question 16. Uh, which CITV show would you find characters like Tatty Boggle, Phoebe the Talking Telephone, Hangel, the purple coat hanger, I remember him, and my favourite, Top, Sticky and Bottom, who are three talking draw people who resembled socks. And that was, Wizardora, nothing sure you're our friend in a very special way, Wizardora. Wizardora. Okay. Question 17. The theme tune was to Nightmare. And uh, one of my first teen crushes was obviously Tregar, the Dungeon Master. Yes. I'm so glad that you're still this, still that strange. I'm uh, still that strange, yeah. Question 18. Which show will you find Brian and Sophie Johnson and their three foster children, Josh, Mel and Lucy Barker? And that was My Parents Are Aliens, which I absolutely loved. And they did change the lady that played Sophie and I believe they sort of said that she just fancied updating her look. She was an alien. She didn't really look like um, a human being. So, yeah, she just naturally became another. And I was like, oh, OK, yeah, we like the new look. So you can't do that in every show when the actor changes. But you can in My Parents Are Aliens. Question 19. Whose theme tune is this? It, uh, for the point, I want Maid Marian and her Merry Men. And which part did Tony Robinson play? He was the Sheriff of Nottingham. Right. Question 20. Whose best friend was Spotty and his nemesis was Texas Pete? And that was Super Ted. So that's out of 27. How did we do? Well, well done everyone. Jamie's getting um, your bigger, 
bright and beautiful fireworks for you, Kaz. Um, the next one is on tomorrow, which is also known as Thursday or Blues Day if you're not at work yet. Um, and it's actually Friday night dinner and in betweeners. And then Friday, I think, is Star Trek. I'm having the day off on Saturday because I'm at work till 8 o'clock at night. And then Sunday we've got the big fat British quiz. British quiz. 